Hello everyone, I'm Ashwini. Welcome to our channel Evolve with English. In this video, we are going to learn about a story, Golu Grows a Nose by Rudyard Kipling from Class 7th English, a supplementary reader and alien hand. So let's get straight to the story. Long, long ago, elephant had no trunk or its long nose. Yes, it has a bulgy nose like a boot. There was Golu who also has a small bulgy nose which was as small as a small boot. Golu was full of questions. He used to ask different type of questions and difficult questions to others. Once, Golu asked Ostrich, why did he not fly like other birds? He asked Giraffe, why he has spotty skin? And he asked his huge hippopotamus, why his eyes are red all the time? He asked Baboon, why do melon taste like a melon? The ostrich, the giraffe and the hippopotamus and the baboon could not answer his question. They said, Golu is a naughty boy and they did not give any answer to his question because they find that his questions are very difficult to answer. Then one day, he met a mina sitting in a bush. He asked her, what do crocodile eat for dinner? So, Mena said to her, uh, him, Go and find out for yourself in the banks of the great grassy Limpopo River. So, Golu decided to saw a crocodile and ask him, What does he have for dinner? Golu took hundred sugar canes. 50 dozen bananas and 25 melons with him and said goodbye to his family and set out to ask crocodile what does he eat for dinner. Meanwhile, he met a python who was calling on the tree and he asked python what does the crocodile eat for his dinner. So, Python did not answer. Golu helped him to coil to the tree and say goodbye to him. Then, after a few days of journey, while he, he was eating bananas, melons and sugar cane, and he reached the edge of the bank of great grassy Limpopo River. And there, he saw a log of wood. But actually, it was not a wood. It was the crocodile. And the crocodile winked at him and Golu asked crocodile what he has for dinner. The crocodile told him that he is the crocodile. Golu was frightened, but he asked him what does he eat? For dinner, then crocodile told him to come closer and he will whisper in his ears. So, Golu went closer to crocodile's snout and crocodile grabbed his nose and he started pulling him into the water. The python who had been following Golu and he told Golu that if you do not pull as much as you can, then the crocodile will take you into the stream of the water. So, Golu was pulling to his best. Golu was pulling with all his strength and crocodile was also pulling from the other side. Both of them pulling with their fullest might. And Python also coiled around Golu 
and both of them started pulling toward the bank of a river. But in this fight, Golu's nose grew longer with each pull. Yes, his nose became five feet long as crocodile pulls it. But at last, it was free. So Golu was waiting for his nose to be normal again. Like uh, it will shrink and it will cool down. It cooled down but it did not shrink. After two days, a fly sat on the shoulder of Golu and it bite him off. Golu with his long trunk, long nose with its trunk, hit the fly dead. The python said, you would never do this without your nose. Now, have something to eat. Then Golu had grass into his trunk and stuffed his mouth with, with fresh grass. Again, Python said, advantage number two, you would never do this with your small nose. Again, the Python says, it's too sunny. Then, then Golu scooped up some muddy water into his trunk and threw it in onto, the, onto his head and get rid of the sun heat. The python said, you would never done this without your trunk. So, this way, python make him realize that this long trunk is very useful to him. Yes, finally, Golu accepted his long trunk and thanked Python and went back to his family. This was a funny story about how elephant grows a long nose or trunk. Golu grows a nose by Rudyard Kipling. Hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.